of this video, we will fix up the player upgrade system so that when they level up, uh, the game pauses and it brings up a little menu. The player can select an upgrade and um, then it will unpause and get back into the game. So let's go ahead and go to our player where we have the UI and we're going to open up this script here. We are going to um, do something with this notifier here. Okay, so when we level up, we're going to change this. We're going to add in a new function. We're going to add in a function called level up. And this function is going to update XP as usual. Um, but it's also going to do some other things. It's going to get the level up notice. So we need to we need to get a reference to this up here. Level up notice. Level up notice dot uh, visible. It's a property. So we'll say it is true. Okay, and then we're going to connect this signal up here. So we're going to look at this signal, and we've got one down here called visibility changed. We're going to connect this signal to the UI, not the player, but the UI. That's where the rest of our code is. Okay, so when that signal changes, I'm just going to get the code here. And I'm just going to paste this in. Oops. So the code just looks like this. If the level up notice dot visible equals true, get tree dot paused equals true. We're going to, we're going to pause the game while this is true. Now, what this does is it gets everything in the tree, which is pretty much all of this stuff here, and it pauses it all. Of course, that's also going to pause the UI, so we need to make a little change to the UI in a minute. So go back to here and get tree dot pause. Okay, so let's go ahead and just check that this will work. Okay, so that's invisible at the moment. And what should happen is when we level up, oops, that's the wrong one, when we level up, Just put a bunch of dudes right next to me at the start. Okay, so let's. Okay, almost leveled up. Go and. Okay, nothing happened. Why not? Once level up, did we call the level up? Oh, no, because I didn't change this here. Level up. All right, just to make it simple to test, we're going to go into the world uh, 2D. I'm going to grab three enemy. Golems. Where is the enemy? There it is. And of course, nope, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm just going to get experience gems. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I can just go and collect these and then I will hopefully level up. There we go. Okay, so it didn't actually wait till it got to us to do that. That's not a big deal. But now I've got these buttons that I can click on. So we're going to make these buttons actually work. So we'll go back to the player. And we've got our buttons here. Each of these buttons has signals that we can link. And we're going to link them into our UI. So when we push our button health level pressed, we are going to, let's have a look at the player stats. Uh, level up player. Okay, so uh, we, will, we will do that. Actually, we won't we won't do it there. We'll do it. We'll do that somewhere else. There, that's that's already done. Sorry. Um, we're going to add a function here. Func add add max health. And so I'll just say player player health equals. Let's set the max health. Player max health equal player, let's say plus equals, it's easier. Plus equals 20, get an extra 20 health. And player health equal player max health. So if they choose that, they also get a level up. And then, oh, that's not going to trigger anything. So we'll have to actually emit the signal. Emit a signal here. Um, we'll emit, emit the signal take damage which isn't actually taking damage, but it will update the, the player health. Okay, so the, the signal just tells it to update the UI, so we can we can do that. Um, we're gonna need to upgrade the player's speed, and we actually haven't got a value in here for speed, so I'm just gonna ignore that one for now. 
Uh, but the knife level one, we are going to go into here. Now we've actually already got a move for this weapon knife, level up knife. And so we can we can use that, that's not a problem. So let's go back to here. We're going to uh, that into there, sorry, connect that into the UI. And so we've got button health, that's gonna be player stats dot add health, let's add health, add max health. There we go. So that will do that. And then this one here is gonna be the knife. The knife weapon. Knife a weapon knife dot um knife level up knife. So that's going to use the knife weapon and level up knife. Now there's a few things we need to do on the knife thing as well. So that actually uses those stats. It's currently using the damage, but not much else. Um, so let's go ahead and almost finished here. We're going to say level up notice dot visible equals false. And same for the last one. Lastly, nothing will happen still. And I'm going to demonstrate that. And then I want to talk a little bit about why. So if I go and collect these, level up knife, nothing's happening, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. That's because uh, the game is paused. Everything is paused, including the user interface. So what we need to do is go into the UI here, go to inspector, go to process over here. Currently it's set to inherit, which means that it inherits from the player and so on, uh, and the default is um, pausable. We're gonna say always. So this is going to always process, even when the process is paused, it's going to process. So I'll save that, we'll go world, and we will experience, grab the experience cubes, level up knife, and our knife is leveled up. Now let's take some damage and just test that again. Uh, we'll do it from the start. So I'll take some damage and then I'll grab those experience cubes and hopefully our health goes up. Take some damage. Okay, there we go. Taking some damage. One, two, so I've got three. Level up health. It goes back to 100%. I just realized that it's sitting at 0% at the start. Um, so that will be something that I need to fix up. Last thing, we need to implement those upgrades into the knife and that's going to be here so speed instead of putting it here we look at the knife stats we've got knife speed in there so we can use that here so we're going to say weapon knife dot speed we don't need this variable anymore here and that's kind of all at the moment for now, I'm just going to leave it at this. So what we're going to do from this point here is, is do a game design document together. Um, and we're going to get feedback on it. We're going to take those best ideas. We're going to get the best ideas for different weapons and stats and things like uh, music. And then we're going to implement that. And that's going to be the rest of the video series for this game. So if you're not one of my students, you won't be able to participate in that. Uh, but you'll see the results of it in a couple of well, in a week or two when we when we get around to doing that so let's test that now if i oh what's happened there weapon knife dot uh it's not called speed it's called knife speed like that okay. 500 that's that's pretty i think that the default speed is way too high so let's go uh 350 is the default speed and then when it upgrades we're going to upgrade it maybe to 400 and then we go 500 and so on. And so it does more damage. So what should happen is let's test it and make sure that it's working. So we will update the UI later. Uh, let's grab a level up knife. All right, so the knife should go fast, but it also should kill them in one hit now instead of two, because it's doing 10 damage. Okay. And level up knife, and now it's going faster. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our little weapon system happening, uh, and it's a good start. We can build on this okay? so we can make singletons for each of these different weapons and then refer to them and have an upgrade system that works really well
I'm excited about where this is going. So I'll see you in about a week or two when we've done the game design document and come up with some ideas for different weapons and enemies.